Hello, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft beta series. Now in today's episode, I want to build a massive cathedral. But before we do that, I'm going to grab a dog and we're going to take our newest dog, which is Laura, right there, sitting next to Skippy. But before we get started with the build, I want to go through some changes I made off camera. And I made quite a few actually. First of all, as you can see, the farm or the bakery is just completely gone. Uh, there is a reason for that, uh, but I will go into that in the next episode uh, because it will be more relevant then. Uh, but the last episode, like I said, I have gone through and um, changed up a few of the roofs, uh, made them lower down than these ones. I've also gone through replacing the birch trees with cypress trees. And this bit is different right here. Uh, one, there is a well. Uh, there's a ladder going down for a future sewer project I want to do. Uh, but also, you can see these used to be green. They are now yellow and red. And I've also done that over here by the market. Here they are. As you can see, I've switched up the colours. Uh, here we got yellow, orange, red and pink. Uh, basically, I do want to keep the idea of colour coding each settlement in my world, uh, but I thought it would make more sense for the desert place, that is, way in the future, it would make more sense for that to be green. Uh, so I still have these sails to do, but I've decided on red for Spawnton. And I also thought, uh, seen as we are in a, like, a forest biome, I think this is, uh, that gives us access to flowers and roses, which give us yellow and red dye, which we can craft into orange dye, and with a bit of white, we can craft into pink dye. Uh, so these will be the colours available to Spawnton. But like, for example, in the, uh, the eventual desert settlement, uh, I'll only use green and lime green uh, for bits like this. So yeah, enough updating. Let's move on. Uh, right here is where I want to build it. Now, I want this cathedral to be very big. Uh, I want it to go all the way out to the end there and reach build height as well. I want it to be like the monument or Spawnton, but that does mean we are going to need a whole lot of blocks. It's going to be made out of mainly stone, uh, some windows on the side, and then the roof is going to be uh, oak logs. And I wouldn't be surprised if this turned into a multi-episode project so what i'm gonna do now is with this cobblestone here is i'm just gonna lay it out uh, the uh, the shape of what i want it to be and i want some trees in between it so i'm gonna need like five blocks of space like that'll do yeah that should be good so i'll just continue from here Okay, so I've run out of cobblestone, but I almost finished it. So to build this, we're going to need materials, and we're going to need a lot of them. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a bunch of pickaxes, and then head to the quarry. Okay, so that took a long time. Uh, I think it's been like two and a half weeks since I started, but uh, we should have everything we need. So I'll go over it now. Here we got three boxes of cobble, 
uh, almost three of stone. Uh, we've got stairs, slabs, a bunch of stone slabs, glass, and then a whole lot of wood as well. Uh, there'll be just some random stuff in there. Uh, you see, I did put a tree farm here, uh, but it was better just to put a bunch of trees all over the place. And you see over here, I've kind of messed up with the outline. I didn't notice before, but the middle is supposed to be here, not here. Uh, so before we do anything, I gotta move all of this over one block. Alright, that should be lined up. Yes. Okay, now we can move on to the actual build. And I think I want to start with the main cobblestone parts. Uh, so we know how high we can go. Uh, because the, uh, the the build limit is 128. And we're at like 69 right now. So we are definitely limited to how tall the, uh, the roof part can be. So yeah, we'll do the cobblestone bit. So it's kind of like another outline. But uh, upwards. So let's just get a bunch of cobblestone here. And get started placing all of that. Okay, there is the first part down. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's going to look like. Uh, so this bit here, the square, uh, that'll go all the way to build height with a, uh, a pointy roof. And these bits that jut out, uh, that'll be like a, a flat uh, roof on a slope. You can see this, this lot, and you see this a larger rectangle here. Uh, that'll go up sort of in between this one and that one. And it'll be like a, a tall sloped roof. And at the end there, it's going to curve around like a, uh, a semicircle. I hope that made sense. Uh, that's the front door, and then there are two side entrances there as well. All right, now before we move on, uh, there were a couple things I did off camera uh, in between collecting all these materials, uh, but I uh, but I forgot about it. So I'm gonna go over them now. Uh, first of all, trees. Uh, I put a couple of oak trees around. I think every now and then, mixing in a large oak tree uh, with the ones we already have, it uh, will look nice. See, there's one over there as well. Uh, secondly, the inn. I put a balcony on the side of it. Uh, basically, this um, this wall was very flat, uh, which the other four are. Other three, sorry. But um, they're covered up with other buildings. Uh, also, the ships. I got rid of all the green. I uh, just made the sails white and then put the, uh, the red flags on top. Same with that one over there. Uh, I made some changes to my house. The, uh, the outside of it, you can see there, there's a fence around. Also put a bunch of grass and bushes. I think it makes the place look a lot nicer, like a, uh, a garden area. Oh, and over here, uh, there was a glimpse of it in a previous episode, but I didn't go into it. Uh, there was a, like a ruin here, uh, but I got rid of it. It was too close to the town. Uh, but later on, I do want to have ruins uh, every now and then around the world, just randomly. Uh, I think that'll be cool. And finally, ignoring all these trees around, they're temporary. Uh, I've done some terrain editing around here. Now this is only the start of it, but um, see my map? That uh, that west coast of the uh, the area we're at, uh, all of that is going to look like this. So uh, sand, sand, and then grass all the way up, uh, which will have the town on top. And also here, I put like a bunch of rocks just to separate the um the structure to the natural ground. Uh, I like it. I think it's better than just having all of this NN wall instantly. Kind of eases it in a bit. Alright, so that is all. Now we can head back to the build. Uh, it's just more of what I was doing before, but uh, I'll actually finish it. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, there we go. That's the uh, the cobblestone structure all down. Well, not all down. There are some more parts on the uh, the roof, but we can do that when we move on to the uh, the roof part. So yeah, now it should be more obvious the uh, the shape I was going with. So now I think what I'm going to do is move on to the walls. Uh, so for that, it's mainly just going to be flat stone, and then every now and then there's going to be some windows. And on the bottom and on the top of the windows, uh, we're going to put stone slabs. Now I think this part's probably going to take the longest, so let's get going with filling all of this in. Okay, we should be all done with that. Yeah, it looks about right. That is what the inside looks like, right now at least. Yeah, I think we got all the walls. All right, and now the last thing to do is obviously going to be the roof. Now, originally I was gonna do oak wood, uh, but I've changed my mind. And I think what I wanna do is bricks. Uh, but the issue with bricks is they're pretty rare to come by. Now, I know I have some in my house here. I have clay there, clay here, and some bricks there. And not a whole lot of coal, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do a lot of exploring, bring a lot of shovels with us, and it's going to be a lot of trips back and forth. And to smelt it, we're going to need a lot of coal as well. So we're going to have to do some strip mining or uh, caving, which I have done a lot of while I was collecting the stone. As you can see here, got a bunch of ores. So it would be better to use the wood, but I think it would look better with all the bricks on top. Okay, now I have a feeling this is going to take a very long time. So I'm gonna go craft some more shovels and then collect a bunch of clay. So like two days has got me this many bricks, over half a double chest. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, seeing as I overshot with the other materials by quite a bit, uh, I'm hoping I've done the same with the bricks. Uh, so now uh, I want to get those down. So I'm going to start with the, um, the tower first, and then these side bits here, uh, and then see what we're left with after that.
so all the brick is down for the main roof and I still got a little bit left uh, which I'm gonna use for a smaller pillar in the middle here so I'll build this up a bit with a uh, with cobblestone uh, do the same sort of um, triangle thing I've done here with the opening and then the uh, the pillar roof going up and on all of these I'm gonna put like stone slabs like this and then fences on top with a, a torch as well and that will go on all of these. I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, and then I think to finish it off, I can put a bunch of fences all along the top here. Alright, now the grand reveal. There it is. Now I think I would have liked this uh, the spire at the front to be a bit taller, but um, the, uh, the build limit is right there, so I couldn't really do that. But other than that, I like it. Uh, so as you can see here, I've also put a door down. Uh, it's just oak logs and then a door. Done that for the other two as well. But here it is. Uh, it's kind of dark, so you can't really see. Uh, but when, when it comes to the interior, uh, I don't know what to do yet. I have a general idea, uh, but I'm going to have to do this at a later date. Because uh, building this and collecting the materials uh, has taken a very long time. I think like three weeks in total. I see some terrain here already done, but I think right there on a, uh, a diagonal would be a good place for another dock, uh, like reserved for the church. I think that'll be good. So I am pleased with the uh, the end product, or almost end. Uh, but let's see what it looks like from the back. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, this did take quite a bit of time. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, same with my last arc video where I built a village. Also took a long time. I think I need to chill out with these projects just a little bit. So uh, next episode, I'm not going to be doing the uh, the interior and the dock and stuff. Uh, like I said at the beginning, there's something over here I want to get done. But then the one after that, I could finish off the cathedral. But until then, uh, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.